Please don't take a dump while I'm about to make food. You wouldn't do that to me. She's gonna do it, okay. Well, while um, the cat over there decides to add to the fresh aroma of the kitchen. I mean, really, you gotta do this right now. Oh good, maybe it was just a number one. False alarm. It was only a number one. And now she's going to spend 10 minutes making sure that it's covered. Listen, I, I appreciate your dedication, but I promise you it's not that bad. You can just leave it. Thank you. This is gonna be a long evening. Okay, let's do this, shall we? For... Ladies, I swear to God, if you all decide to start settling the laws of the land right now. You see, this is why I could never have children, let alone cats. I can't even handle cats right now. I don't know how I ever handled human children. Is this fun? Who is breaking something? Why do you wait until I am doing something where I need silence and then you're like, oh, now's the time. We've been napping all day. Now is the time to wake up and choose violence. Is everybody done? Anyways, shall we do this? For real this time, here we go. Jesus, okay. Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Adventures with yours truly. And welcome back to the Longest Kitchen. I know you guys have missed this for a while. I'm not sure why. For some ungodly reason, many, 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 many of you were requesting that I do some more recreational activities in here. So, here we are. <laughs> I hope you're hungry because today we will be cooking, I will be cooking, <laughs> an excellent dish. One that we have technically sort of done before, however, this one will be different, and I'll tell you why. Today, we are not going to be making just any pizza. We are going to be making THE pizza. Now, what does that mean, you're asking? Well, if you didn't know, one of my favorite restaurants from back in the day, out of our many wonderful and not terrible Fazbear locations, we had a particular pizza, and it was Oh, magnificent. Melted in your mouth. Delectable. Wonderful. Amazing in every way. And it was known as the Twisted Pizza. Now, what goes on this magnificent pizza you're boasting about, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Pepperonis. What? I'm a simple guy, okay? Just put pepperonis on something, I'll be happy. Let me rephrase. Put pepperonis on a pizza. I'll be happy. <sighs> but anyways, that is indeed what we are making today. So, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? And step number one before you cook or prep anything for a meal is to wash your grimy paws because <laughs> you just never know where these bad boys have been. Setting a good example on how to be clean and sanitary because whenever you're... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just watched the focus of the camera move to my ass. Listen, fix your priorities. My face is up here. Why are you, why, why the cabinet? Tell me why, why the cabinet? Well, now that my hands are clean and the camera is for some reason focused on a ghost down here. Oh good, are the children hungry? Yes, hello, little Jeremy. I'm making pizza, but too bad it's not for you. You get to starve. Now, shoot. He's not leaving. You're going to make me walk over there and tap on my own face so that my camera will recognize me. How dare you? Hello, yes, me. This is the beautiful face you should be focusing on. Thank you. Hands are clean. Stop it. Stop it. My face. I don't care what kind of abomination is in this dark corner of the kitchen. It's me, it's about me, okay? Thank you. <clears throat> Anyways, my hands are now clean, therefore we may proceed with the first step. And don't worry, I'm not going in blindly. I do have a recipe 
right here, with steps and instructions and ingredients and all that happy crap. So, our first step is to... what now? Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> I just needed to learn how to f read. That was my problem. First off, let's read a list of our ingredients, which you can already see, so if you know how to... So if you know how to read, you would be able to tell already. But I'll read the list out loud, also. Our ingredients for this project are... Two one-pound loaves of frozen bread roll dough. Pizza sauce. Shredded mozzarella cheese. Mini pepperonis, which they did not find at the grocery store, so we have full-size pepperonis, which honestly, in my opinion, are better anyways. The more meat you have in your mouth, the better. Oh no. You just... <sighs> Moving on. <clears throat> Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, and flour. As you can see, we have all of those ingredients here, as I mentioned before. Am I being redundant? Yes, because I want to make sure that even the least intelligent of you are following along. And are entertained, of course. Love you. Now, our first step is obviously... Oh, to not swipe the breakable jar off of the table and onto the floor. <laughs> I would never do that! That would be stupid! That would be... foolish. Our first step is to get rid of the stuff we don't need because we need to clear our working space. So let me do that. Is this upside down? No, it's not. It's fine. We're gonna start with our all-purpose flour, and we're just gonna dust a generous amount onto the working space so that we may work the dough into an even... Ow! Oh, 16-inch circle. 16? That seems big. Anyways, we're gonna make it into a circle. How many inches it's going to be in diameter? Haha, <laughs> no freaking clue. But that's later on. Right now, we just worry about the circle. Oh, yeah. This seemed like the most irresponsible way to rip this open. I will no longer be able to store this properly later, but do I care? Not right now. Like I said, generous amount. Generous. Spread it around. That didn't really work. Let's add some more. When in doubt, add more and pray. Yeah, that seems... That seems good. We can always add more as we go. Now, we're going to take this dough. It is not two one-pound frozen loaves, but it is 16 ounces. It has a nice thud to it. So, we are going to tear this bad boy open and plop it down. Come on, don't be shy. You can do it. Any day now. Come on. That's it. Yes. Yes, go. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Now we are going to massage the... Why? Why does it feel like that? Why? I've touched dough before. That does not feel like dough. That... What is that? What have they done? Okay, plot twist. We're making human flesh pizza. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> okay, circle. We're making a circle. Ah, see, the flour helps it feel less like flesh and more like dough. <laughs> How lovely. Oh boy. You know, I still wonder if I can, I can spin it. Ooh. <coughs> it's snowing. But you just kind of, you just, you just, you just whip it around. Oh no. Oh no, it's a donut. Oh, now it's a donut. Oh, what have I done? Hello. This is an interesting development. Oh! <laughs> oh my eye! Oh my eye! Oh, it got me! Oh, it got me in the eye! 
Oh, that was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Oh, my eye. I'm blind. All I see is white. Now we have to do damage control, which means I'm gonna have to knead this dough back into itself and try to make the hole disappear. <laughs> that looks questionable. Anyways, have I covered the hole? Is it gone? I don't see a hole. That's a great sign. I might need to add more water now because I've dehydrated the dough so much that it's not moving. Oh, oh wow, oh. Oh. That is a lovely sound. There we go, see? It's like nothing happened. <laughs> so, let's try this again, shall we? Spread it out into a nice, even circle. See how well this is going? If you traumatize the dough enough, it'll do exactly what you want, no questions asked. That's how baking goes. Trust me, I know. I'm an expert practically already. Oh boy. Okay. All right. We're just crunch. Yep. It's coming along. Oh my god. Oh man. You know, making pizza, right? You'd think it'd be a nice, easy activity for all ages. Oh. But man, do you have to be in shape? You have to have the arm strength for this. Or just keep rolling, keep rolling it out, further, further, and then we make, that's not a circle, this is not a circle. This is anything but a circle. I'd say we're almost there. I'm gonna add a little bit more water so I can smooth out her luscious lumps. No, I, I'd say that this shape could be, you know, third cousins with a circle, but is it a circle itself? Mm. No. You know, I think the first shape I had before I tore a hole in it and made it into a bagel was better than whatever is going on here, but this is where I've gotten myself. I'm not quite sure how to say, oh no, no, shh, shh. You know, I think, I think this is going swimmingly. I think this is going brilliantly. Yes, I think it's, oh, you know, you wouldn't think that a circle would be such a difficult shape in theory, but my God, why am I having such a hard time? You know what? It's decided. Oh. We are going to make a... We'll make a rabbit-shaped pizza. Yes. See this little tall part right here sticking up? That right there? Maybe we can make that into ears. Yes, this is brilliant. This is all coming together. Oh, nope. And then we... Okay. You know, it's fine. This is better than a circle, which I clearly can't make. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. This is much nicer and it's fun. You know what, it's fun. It's much more fun than a circle. Circles are boring. We've already done a circle pizza. Why not do this? I'm exhausted. Oh God, I need an aspirin. I need, I need two aspirin, I need five aspirin. Oh, and I need a drink. Woo, I need a drink. Oh. This is a reminder. Drink water. This is a reminder. Drink water. I, I just did. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Suddenly feel like I'm being watched. Alexa, do you watch people? 
For TechCrunch.com, meanwhile, the Alexa Together service which allows caregivers to use Alexa to keep watch over elderly family members, will now be able to receive notifications related to smart home devices, like when doors are locked or if lights go on at odd hours, and more. Alexa, are you watching me? Amazon takes privacy seriously. For more information, and to view Amazon's privacy notice, visit the help section of your Alexa app. Alexa, do you know what I'm doing? You're talking to me. Alexa, do you think I'm f stupid? I think you are one smart cookie. <laughs> then shut up! Respectfully, Alexa, if you don't watch me, then you clearly wouldn't know about the bodies I have hidden in my basement, correct? Hmm, I don't know that. Anyways, back to the pizza making. We have our beautiful rabbit shape. And now it is time to lather her up with delicious, scrumptious, virgin olive oil. If you make a joke, I will find you. And I will kill you. With love. <laughs> so we're just gonna add a tiny, a little bit, not a lot. You don't need a lot. Less is more. And we're just gonna give her a nice, okay, maybe a little more than that. Maybe just, just a smidge, just a hair. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, that was a lot. <clears throat> it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we just smear it around, get it nice and even in all the crevasses. Control. <laughs> Clean up after myself as I go because I am a grown man and I know how to take care of my own messes. Now it has come to my attention that this entire time I have not been consulting the actual recipe steps. My bad. I have been flying by the seat of my pants, if you will, but I think we've done a decent job just off of memory. But now I will be referring back to the official instructions. Are you kidding me? The twisted pizza is rectangle. I'm done. It says cut into rectangle strips. What kind of pizza? That is not the twisted pizza I remember. Oh, cause you twist the, oh, cause you twist the, the oh. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I can't even remember my own recipe. What a disgrace I am. I can't even remember. What? That's why it's called a twisted pi- Oh! You know, I was expecting one of you to speak up before this point and tell me, but you all failed me and now we're here. Now we have a rabbit-shaped, not twisted pizza. Useless. Useless to me. All of you. Because it's not a- it's not a pizza. They're sticks. They're bread sticks. Why would you lie to me? It says, dip the sticks. Sticks. It says nothing about a pizza. It says sticks. And use the pizza sauce for dipping. What kind of... I went into this today thinking that I would be making an official recipe from my good old days, and yet, I read the recipe now and I realize that it's actually just a load of crap. And it's quite foolish. You can't call that a pizza. It's a stick. So today we are going to be going off script. I'll be making a twisted pizza indeed, but it's not literally twisted. It's metaphorically twisted because it is made in my own image. And I am a very twisted individual. So it's fine, we still fit the script. We can call it a twisted pizza. I'm gonna put the sauce on this now and I'm gonna forget about this stupid recipe because clearly it's useless to me. Why does this smell like feet?
And who is squeaky? I'm fine, you're fine. We're all fine. And now we are going to continue making our twisted pizza. Because forget the recipe, it's stupid. It wasn't even a pizza in the first place. <laughs> so, here we go. We will add the sauce now and spread it around. Very nice. You know what, there's nothing left to lose. Hands it is. I'm not quite sure if I like the sounds that are happening right now. All right, I'd call that good. Right, next we must poke holes, if I remember correctly. In fact, I might have, should have done that before adding the sauce. But that's okay, I remember to do it now. I haven't been preheating the oven. There's a lot of things I'm just now starting to remember I was supposed to be doing, so please, bear with me. Sure, 375, that sounds right. <laughs> All right, now we're preheating. We should have been doing that hours ago, but now we're doing it, so it's fine. Anyways, as I was saying, we must poke holes into the dough to allow it to relieve itself in the oven. Ignore the sounds. That's just the sound of our oven, our brand new oven. Sounding like it's on life support, but it's not, I promise. It's just how she sounds when she's preheating. Give her some privacy. She'll come through. Anyways, poking holes, my favorite part. Now, <laughs> you all remember this little guy, right? This fun little guy. Well, we don't need it today because we actually have a bigger fork. Oh, <laughs> finally. All the better to stab with. Here we go. Holes all around. Perfect. That should be more than enough. Now, next, we are adding cheese. Delicious, scrumptious cheese which is now over here. And she's kind of room temperature now, but we probably won't die. Up in the ears, we can't forget the ears. After all, I spent so much time on them, it would be a shame to just let it all go to waste. Perfect, it's beautiful. Now, last but not least, our pepperonis and just a dash of Italian sea that did not close all the way. And now there is mozzarella cheese on the floor. We'll worry about that later. <laughs> Pepperonis. They're not mini, but like I said, the bigger the better. So we're going with original size. Oh, 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 oh my God. Wow. Okay. Pepperonis smell very strong straight out of the bag. Would not recommend sniffing it. Now I have a brilliant idea. Because we're making a rabbit, of course we need a little face. And there we go, what a happy little guy. Isn't he just lovely? I think so. And now, I should really stop throwing things. We're fine, that bag stayed sealed. Last but not least, a dash of any seasonings we wish. So, we are starting with Italian seasoning. Just a nice little dusting. Is it coming out? Perfect. And garlic powder. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's fine. Everything's fine. There, now you can see him. Oh, oh no. Why am I like this? Ta-da, here she is. The Twisted Rabbit Pizza. That's what we'll call it. The Twisted Rabbit Pizza, because that is honestly more clever, more catchy, and more fun. And I mean, just look at this thing. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. It's perfect. 
And now we wait 10 more minutes for the oven to finish preheating because I was brilliant and forgot to preheat it earlier. So now we just get to stand here and make awkward eye contact and contemplate all of our life choices together. It's still not done, but I'm impatient, so I'm sticking her in now because I'm assuming it's close enough. Now see, what I am going to do, because I am smart, is I am going to put down a sheet of aluminum foil underneath the pizza. You've got to be kidding me. It's fine. We can work with what we have, right? The face may end up a little disfigured, but it's fine. It's nothing. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can repair it, we can repair it. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. I got ya, it's all right. Ah, see, now we've just gone from Bonnie to Withered Bonnie. It's fine, you just have one eye here, another eye there, and then your little beautiful little smile. We just put back your cute little smile and everything will be just fine. I think you ended up a little wider once I set you on the pan, but that's okay. You still look great. Right, well, into the oven she goes. So then, my wonderful creation is now baking in the oven. So, we'll get to uh, kill some time while it bakes. So please enjoy this intermission, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. It is time. The pizza is ready to come out of the oven, for my timer has gone off to remind me, because I knew if I walked away, within minutes this house would be burning to the ground. So it's ready to come out of the oven and we'll finally get to see how it turned out and how it tastes. Oh, wow. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, she may be a little bit on the done side, but it's fine. Ta-da! The Twisted Rabbit Pizza, created on this day by my brilliant self. I think this is ready to go right on the menu. Now, as I said last time, in the Afton household, we cut everything with knives. Pizza cutters, psh, ah, old school. That was a little off, but let me try that again. I'm rusty, okay? I... it's been a while. No, well, I'm consistent. I'm, I'm pretty consistent, I will say. I'm, I'm very consistent, in fact. But we're gonna aim for the center this time. Don't you worry. This is the one. Alright, consistency is key here, as we can see. So I really just wanted to go for this eye. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this nice, chunky cheek right here. Oh god! Get in there! I missed. I missed again. I'm terrible, okay? Come to think of it, I should probably practice more. For good reasons. For pure reasons. For knife throwing. Which is my new favorite hobby. Yes. I can't see any other reason I would want to practice my knife accuracy skills other than to recreationally knife throw at children. Checkboards. Checkboards. That's darts. 
darts with knives at the bar, my favorite pastime. <clears throat> I'm really struggling to get this piece out, so uh, just uh, hold on a moment. Finally, I've done it. Uh, this better taste good because that was a lot of work. Oh wait, where are my manners? I should cut you guys a piece. You're right. <laughs> okay, let's say that uh, out of these very generous chunks, right here, one, two, three, out of those leftover quadrants, which one would you choose? Go ahead, take your piece. I'm waiting. Have you chosen? Well, I'm hungry, so I'm not waiting for you. Anyways, time to taste this masterpiece. Bottoms up. Time to taste the Twisted Rabbit Pizza. She's hot. Okay, is this an upgrade from our last pizza we made, I made? No, I'd say that this may even be a step back. It's a bit on the dry side, probably could have used a little more sauce, but if you're a light sauce type of person with your pizzas, then this is just for you. Now on a scale of one to 10, I would rate this Twisted Rabbit pizza about a six. It's good enough for how hungry I am, it probably tastes better than it actually is. But it still gets a six, respectfully. You know, I'll take another bite just to confirm that rating. Please hold. <laughs> but, well, the cat wants it, so that's a good sign. You want it? I really don't think you do. Still a six. Maybe a f 5.9. I need a drink. Well then, there you have it. My twisted rabbit pizza because the original recipe is boring and stupid and isn't even really a pizza so I don't understand why they call it a twisted pizza. They should call it pizza sticks at least. See, this is what happens, kids, when you decide to fill out all of the answers to the test without reading the entire question and instructions first. Take it from me. Or just go off script completely and make one of these. Equally as fun. Well, alas, I will bid you a most sorrowful farewell because I know you'll miss me. Will I miss you? Huh, that's a different story. But I'll always come back with more adventures to behold and more fun joyous memories to make. So, I hope you did enjoy this pizza-making adventure. If you liked this pizza better than the other one I made, go ahead and like the video. If you liked the other pizza I made better than this one, then go ahead and also like the video. And if you like neither, leave. But like the video first before you go. <laughs> Thank you. Also, for the sake of my sanity, Please share this video with your friends. Get it out there if you have any friends. If you don't, then share it with the world so that they too can suffer with us. Maybe comment what your favorite moment of this video was, comment which slice you would like, or comment when your father's coming back with the milk. I don't know if he's ever coming back. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this pizza-making experience. I do hope you enjoyed. Really, I do. And I will see you all on the next adventure. Until then. <laughs>